In the UK, counting is underway and the first results have been declared. With Labour making early gains, Tories seem to be on the back foot already. The results will be a test for Tory Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and Labour Party leader Keir Starmer ahead of the general elections expected later this year. As per early results, the Tories appear to be struggling and have lost money or, and have lost control of many councils. Keir Starmer's Labour Party has gained Hartlepool and Rushmore directly from the Conservatives. Hartlepool saw Labour gain eight seats and Tories lose six seats. And this marks a major turnaround from 2021 when the Tory win led Starmer to consider resigning. Labour's stance in the war in Gaza has come to hit parties' support in Muslim communities. It led to the party losing control of Oldham Council in Lancashire and the Scottish Greens making major gains in Newcastle and South Tennessee. The focus is on 107 councils, 2,500 council seats and 25 places in the London Assembly are up for roads. 11 mayoral seats across major metro areas are also up for grabs, which is home to about a third of Britain's population. Labour and the Conservatives are each defending about 1,000 seats in a further blow. Political experts say Tories are expected to lose 500. The early results are aligned with the opinion polls, which expected the Labour Party to gain power for the first time since 2010. On the other hand, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak is hoping for success in at least a couple of key mayoral races. Sunak is expecting for Conservative mayors Andy Street and Ben Hooshin to hold on to their seats, the West Midlands and Tees Valley. With the Conservatives seemingly headed for one of their biggest defeats, there's mounting speculation over Sunak's continued leadership. In similar elections in 2021, the Conservatives under Boris Johnson were riding high following the rollout of coronavirus vaccines. The Conservatives also face a challenge from the Liberal Democrats, while Reform UK is trying to outflank it from the right. Though the parties are contesting from a small number of seats, it may dwindle the already shrinking hold of the Tories. The result is also awaited over a by-election in Blackpool. It comes after a Conservative lawmaker Scott Penton stepped down over a lobbying scandal.